In this video lecture, I'm going to discuss the electronic configuration of two special cases and we're going to discuss copper and chromium. Uh, there are some atoms that have some anomaly in the electronic configurations, but we're only going to stick to copper and chromium uh, and we're not going to discuss the other cases. Uh, so I'm going to pick chromium first. Chromium has a total of 24 electrons, so I need to write the electronic configuration first. Uh, the normal way of writing the electronic configuration using the off power principle, starting with the lowest energy subshell that's going to be 1s is going to have 2 electrons, then 2s would have 2 electrons, then 2p would have 6 electrons, after which 3s would have 2 electrons, then 3p would have a total of 6 electrons, after which 4s would have 2 electrons, and then uh, I'll be left with 4 electrons, so 3d is going to have a total of 4 electrons. Now, if you look at this electronic configuration, the 4s and the 3d, the 4s has 2 electrons and the 3d has 4 electrons. So I've drawn the electronic configuration using the box diagram over here. 1s is full, 2s is full, 2p is full, 3s is full, 3p is full, and the 4s has 2 electrons and the 3d has 4 electrons. Now one thing that you would notice is that the 4s and the 3d have very little difference in their energy levels. So you can you can say that the what you can state is that the 4s and the 3d orbitals 3d subshells are almost degenerate. So they are almost degenerate which means that they almost have exactly the same energy level so you can you can look at the energy diagram over here and see the difference that there is very slight difference between the 4s and the 3d now since the 4s has two paired electrons there's going to be more repulsion over here so one electron would jump from the 4s and it would go and occupy the empty 3d orbital so one electron from the 4s would jump and it's going to occupy the empty d orbital over there so there's going to be one electron moving from the 4s and i'm going to rub the electron at that position so one electron goes from 4s and jumps to the 3d mainly because of repulsion because uh, the two paired electrons over there and there would be more repulsion so it would be easier for that electron to actually go and occupy the 3d empty 3d orbital over here so this is what happens in chromium's case so remember, always remember, chromium's electronic configuration is not 4s2 and 3d4. Instead, one electron actually jumps and occupies the 3d orbital. So it's not 4s2 and 3d4. It's actually 4s1 and 3d5. And one thing that is said about this is that half filled. So half filled and completely filled orbitals, subshells, are considered to be more stable. Or in simpler words, what you just need to know is remember that chromium has an electronic configuration that is 4s1 and 3d5 instead of 4s2 and 3d4. The very same idea applies to copper as well. Now copper has a total of 29 electrons, so uh, we're going to write the electronic configuration of copper. It's going to be 1s2, 2s2, then the 2p subshell is full, then 3s2, then you have 3p6, after which the 4s subshell fills, and then you, ha you have 3d9. Now if you look at the electronic configuration of uh, copper, you would notice that the 3D subshell is almost full. One of the electrons is not paired and I told you before as well that the, there's very little difference between the 4S subshell and the 3D subshell when it comes to energy. So they almost degenerate, they have almost the same energy. So electrons can actually move around between the two uh, subshells easily. Uh, so 4S has 2 electrons, 3D has 9 electrons. But if 3D had 10 electrons, that would make it even more stable. A full, completely full orbital would be more stable. So instead what happens is that one electron from 4S jumps and occupies the 3D with making 3D uh, completely full. So this would not be the electronic configuration of copper. Instead, it would be 4S1 and 3D would be completely full. So that would be the electronic configuration of copper because a completely full orbital would have all electrons that are 
um, that have that are paired so the repulsion would be minimized all the orbitals would be completely full so having 10 electrons in its uh, 3d uh, subshell is going to make it more stable so what you just need to know is that the electronic configuration of copper is slightly different from what we have learned to write so the electronic configuration of copper must be remembered similarly the same applies to the electronic configuration of chromium that would be different as well instead of 4s2 3d4 it's going to be 4s1 3d5